nothing like beautiful Lincolnshire countryside. Oh wait, Chris has been here. Hi, right, hello and welcome to another sunny day in England. I'm joking, obviously, it's pouring out with rain, as usual. But yeah, let's, let's ignore the terrible weather and let's get on with changes of brakes. Now, I know you guys are probably sick of seeing us change brakes because we did brakes on the Abarth, the 235i, we've done them on the 86 twice or maybe three times, I think. So this is only going to be a really short video, just a quick montage of changing the discs and pads on this, which is the M4. Now, the reason for changing them on this is because, well, there's two reasons. One, um, ever since I picked it up, it's had a bit of a weird sort of vibration slash droning noise when you brake hard from like high speed. It's most apparent on track days. Um, you don't really notice it on the road much. But yeah, it's, it, I took it to BMW. They didn't want to know. Um, they didn't want to fix it under warranty at least anyway. So I said, sod it, I'll just sod it out myself. So I've got some upgraded discs and upgraded pads. Uh, the discs are going to be stop tech floating rotors. So they're two piece, you know, we've got the separate hats and the separate disc or rotor face or whatever you want to call it, um, so that they can expand a little bit if there's like changes in heat and stuff, they won't warp, that's, that's the idea. Um, and also the upgraded pads are going to be EDC yellow stuff pads, which are like a, a hybrid pad, they're kind of half track, half street, so we'll see how we get on with those. But yeah, so the second reason for upgrading was just because it is an upgrade. Um, like I say, the discs won't warp, the pads should be a lot better on track. Um, so yeah, there's kind of two reasons. One, to just solve a bit of a problem, and two, just to get better braking performance in general. And also, towards the end of the video, we're going to be destroying some tyres, because these tyres got a puncture the other day, one of them, um, and I got it plugged, got it repaired, because I was in a bit of a, a rush to go to Wales for a road trip, um, which unfortunately there's no video from, but Sean from SJB Garage, checked in the post, um, he's going to be doing a video on it, because he was there as well, so watch out on his channel for that. But yeah, we haven't got a video of, of the Wales trip. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was in a bit of a rush to get the tyres sorted for Wales, so I got it plugged rather than replacing it. Um, and in theory you can drive on a plugged tyre and do everything you'd normally do, but I don't really like the idea of it, so I want to replace the tyres. They were getting pretty low on tread anyway, they weren't, they weren't completely bald or anything, but they were getting down. Um, so I figured I'll just finish them off today, the tyres have arrived, so I'm going to get them installed tomorrow. So yeah, there'll be a bit of a uh, bit of tire smoking fun at the end of the video. But yeah, with that out of the way, uh, let's get on with changing some brakes.
Okay, so brakes are done, tyres are finished off, just about to go and get them changed now, so get new tyres on shortly. But yeah, the brakes, they feel fine at the moment, obviously I've not pushed them yet, I've not um, sort of tested them out on track or anything. I don't actually know when the next track day is going to be in this car, might have to book one soon. Um, but yeah, there's one coming up at Anglesey in the R8, as long as I get the R8 back in time. It's only in like a couple of weeks, so it's going to be close. But yeah, hopefully I get it back in time um, and can go and do that with a supercar driver. Should be some crazy cars there on that one, so that should be good. Um, and if not, I'll have to take this. Not the end of the world. So yeah, I'll let you guys know in the future if, if the brakes are good or not, but obviously, like I say at the moment, can't really say either way. Initial impressions are that they're, they're good. Um, there's decent initial bite. They're not, they're not bad when they're cold or anything like that, which I was kind of worried about with like a, a more track-focused pad. I thought might be a bit rubbish when you first get in the car and drive it on the road, but nope, they're just as strong as, as you'd expect. Um, and yeah, they, they seem to slow down pretty damn well. When I, when I stamp on them, they, they slow down. So yeah, it's got rid of the, um, the vibration and the annoying sort of droning noise as well. So that's that problem solved. So yeah, that's it for this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.